Hello, hello, Ederson Oliver here. This is the Dean and Tip of the Week, and today we'll be talking about Rapid Fail Protection, which is a feature of IIS that will help you to avoid this kind of message on your DNN website. Quite annoying message, I know that. So the other day I was thinking, you know what, at this day and age, IIS should be smarter to be able to recover from an app pool crash. And in the same week, I got a tip you know, from the team at manage.com and they were talking to me about rapid fail protection, which is a feature of IIS that after a few app pool crashes, the app pool dies completely and it does recover. And with that option, IIS will bring the app pool back again. Let's explore that a little bit. Let's talk about the, the pros and cons of that option. I know it's not very, it might be a little controversial type of point. Some people have strong opinions about that using and not using that, but I gave my two cents and maybe it's something that you should consider for your particular case. That's it. I hope you like it. Before I tell you about the Dean and Tip of the Week, I want to bring to your attention our sponsor, Manage.com. Why do I have them as a sponsor? Because I use them, because I trust them, because I have been running my business on their hosting environment for over seven years now. I trust them. I have used other providers, but at the end of the day, I go back to them because of their support level and their technical abilities as well. Let me tell you, no other support, no other hosting provider out there will call you on the phone to give you the status update of your ticket. Nobody will do that. And I get that from manage.com. That's what differentiates them. It's not only the technical side, which they are very good as well, the best one in the DNA space and beyond that, but they are also very good when it comes to support, when it comes to the personal touch. So my, my recommendation to you is host with them. You will not get disappointed. They have good rates and great, great, awesome support. That's it. Let's go back to our tip of the week. Okay, so you want to get rid of this service, unavailable message that you might be facing on your DNN website. The cause of that is because the application pool of the website crashed. So let's have a look at IIS. And I'm assuming here that you would have access to IIS, maybe on a local machine, but if, if this is a live site, most likely you are doing a remote connection to the website, so you sh to the server, so you'd be able to access IIS from the server. So here's my local IIS. The reason why my site has crashed is because the app pool, see application pools right here on IIS. This one, which is which is the app pool of the website, it stopped and it stopped because it crashed. But the fact that you had to do this manually it's not very effective. You may have the site down for minutes, for hours, if you didn't realize that the app pool has crashed. So again, how can you avoid that? Or at least how can you minimize that? So on the app pool, if you go to advanced settings, there is a section that says wrap fail protection and it's enabled by default. So it's set to true. Now, the first thing that you may want to consider is to change these numbers here, you know, failure interval in minutes, five minutes, maximum number of failures, five. So what this means is that within the time frame of five minutes, if there are at least five fails, five crashes of the app pool, it will no longer recover automatically. So what I would recommend here to get started is maybe you want to decrease this number by one minute. So what this will do is that instead of being in a five minutes interval to have five crashes maximum, now it should be one minute. So if within one minute you have five crashes, then bring it down, shut down the app pool. That's one thing that you could try, that you could try to do. Now, the other thing that you could do is you could just disable rapid fail protection completely. What this will do is that it will no longer stop the apple, if the apple crashes, it will come back again. It crashes again, comes back again. And it will keep doing work like that as long as there is resources on the server to support that. Now, 
I don't want to say that this is the solution of every problem. In a way, if you need to do this, it's because most likely you want to masquerade a problem that might be happening on your site for some reason. So don't think about this as a solution. This is just uh, a way that you can stop the site from stopping completely. But you still need to troubleshoot what might be causing those crashes on your website. And you might be able to do that via three different locations. You can go to the DNN admin logs and check there if there are any entries that would show what's going on. The other one is you can check the log for net files on your DNN site. And I have a link to a video where I explain where those are on DNN. The third one is if you have access to the server, you can log into Windows there. You can have a look at the Windows event logs. Maybe there's something there that will give you a clue of why those crashes are happening. But the point is you can turn off rapid fail protection. Site will no longer go down. However, if the, the cycle of errors is too frequent, you may you might be affecting other sites and even the entire server may come down if it keeps crashing too frequently there. So you have to assess and evaluate which situation you are in. I'm just showing that this option is there. By default, it's enabled. You can set it to false or you can actually decrease the interval in minutes of it's uh, it's checking process. Different people will have different opinions about those settings, but uh, that's something that I wanted to share with you. It's up to you to see if that's beneficial to your particular situation. Thank you very much and bye for now. If you like this DNN tip of the week and don't want to miss out anyone, subscribe.